Did you turn the lights off? Yeah. Helps me focus. Can you turn the AC off? No. Are you from the tournament? There is a tournament next door, right? Yeah. I've just seen a lot of chess sets in here today. Would you like to sit down? I don't get the difference. You said Bobby Fischer won the US Open at 15. Yeah. Well, it's impossible for a 15 year old to win a Pulsar. Well, not impossible, but we know it will never happen. So, chess is for kids. Writing for adults? That's not what I'm saying at all. This isn't limited to chess. Think of all the child prodigies in, I don't know, music. Six-year-old Mozart. Exactly. All I'm saying is that writing requires lived experience. And chess is dead experience? Death is a lack of experience. But yeah, being a shut-in for the majority of your adolescence is in fact an experience resembling death. Shit. Bobby Fischer locked himself in his apartment for years. Yeah? All he did was study chess theory in obscure Soviet magazines. And now we're in this bright, trendy cafe talking about his dimlit text. But the thing is... Checkmate. But consider this. Good game. Good game. Anyways, consider this. A bustling Brooklyn is waiting outside of old Bobby's apartment, and he chose to have little horses hop around on a board instead of, and this is key, potentially losing his virginity. So that's the experience you need to become a good writer. What were you writing in that pad for so long? Your moves? Poetry. For you. It's disgusting. Aren't you a writer? Doesn't mean I like poetry. Then I'll never let you read my work. Good, because I would rip it to shreds. Sorry. Darius is impatient. Good luck at your tournament, though. Telling me that 
Fisher was a genius. He was obviously one of the, the greatest to ever do it. But what a lot of people don't know is that like towards the end of his life, he went completely working here. Uh, but if you never worked here... <laughs> Fuck. You've never been crossed before. Our paths crossed. Here. That's what I was gonna say. You've never been drunk and high. I've never been drunk or high. <laughs> well, now that you've stopped playing with little figurines all day, you're living. You're too fucked up. Come here. Stop, I'm not playing. You didn't dance with me tonight. What are you doing? Practicing. There's nothing to practice. The world opens next week. The world open? Yeah. I thought you were going this year. Signed up yesterday. I thought you were coming to my reading. At least there's one sane person in this establishment. Can I tell you about this dream I had? I was thinking about it during the party. sense then. But tonight, I saw you talking. I saw that and thought maybe you'd have something to tell me. Maybe whatever you were trying to tell me in my dream, you were standing really close, saying something ostensibly pretty compelling. But I was far away. Conversations are more interesting when you can't hear them. 
I tried to come up with all the interesting things you could have been saying. Different combinations. But whatever you said is probably not that interesting, right? I see myself in your eye. And it's like looking at my reflection in that murky lake again as I stood on the second floor of my cousin's dock and they were all just screaming for me to jump in. And suddenly the lake isn't as opaque and there's no need to take the plunge. <laughs> 